Hello, so this one will be very brief, but the title as indicated there is a corporate vocabulary and then a subtitle there called managerial insights. I've put some small vocab vocabulary in the second uh, portion and you can see strategy, legacy, silo, planning, organic, unicorn. There are very many formats in which these words can be used. They're not the only ones. I'm only giving you just a few examples, which if you listen to most executives nowadays, they angle in on these terminologies. And McHugh, they even differentiate between things like strategy and planning. They say a strategy or a plan is not a strategy. What is legacy? A legacy is a situation where you want to maintain the company as it is. So you want um, maybe some changes sometimes, some but at, at the same time you want a certain legacy, a certain amount of what has been going on in the past to remain. So you might find that some uh, company managers uh, tend to uh, not like the idea of legacy. They would want uh, a, a series of face changing of the company over time. But there are other managers who prefer to uh, retain certain um, uh, legacy aspects of, of a business or a company. For instance, if, if there's a good amount of brand equity um, in that company. For example, Coca-Cola has a good brand equity. So it doesn't want to change a lot of its legacy styles um, along with that. Organic just simply means uh, something which is naturally um, within the company changing uh, slowly, start by evolving, let's say, not, not uh, a revolving or uh, a revolution. It's not easy to explain um, uh, enough of it at this point. Silos are just maybe the way uh, companies are structured in terms of specialists uh, dealing with different areas, you know, um, you, you departments and such. So there's some company managers who don't like the aspect of too much segmentation within the company, too much creation of silos and buckets within the companies, and don't want maybe a lot, a lot of cross-platforms uh, within the company as they move along. These are all about teamwork, how the, how the company manages its teams and et cetera to execute and to manage uh, or to, to produce certain results, end results. Uh, unicorn is a startup. That's a short word for a startup, as you can see. Um, I've indicated uh, just the name there. I'm not trying to explain it. There's no time, actually. I'm just trying to rush over this. Um, so I'll just give you a short video uh, to illustrate some languages which can be used by high-tech uh, managers. Hope it works. Moral technology, how it relates. Yeah, no, I mean, I echo some of the comments. I think, um, you know, for us, I think data, aspect of clinical data was always part of, you know, our vision in terms of building products. And we started doing that, uh, you know, in 2013 when clinical data in surgery, you know, was really not available and it's buried in silos, devices, you know, spreadsheets on paper. And so for us at the time, having the vision of an operating system, a data-driven operating system, kind of akin to what you see in consumer space outside healthcare or what you see in clinical oncology, even with like flat iron or... Uh, now with Eric building it in Chicago, you know, th that was quite a stretch for most early stage VCs, especially in Yeah, it wasn't all that clear, but I hope you, you're able to get the gist of it uh, generally. Um, um, the, 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 most idea, uh, the most thing I wanted here is the language used and the flow and the, how the ideas come out. That's a, a training, actually. Thank you.
good luck and good day.